guys suffer from tretinoin FOMO, you definitely shouldn't. And here's a really good paper that tells you why. This paper actually look at the two ingredients on a one-to-one -one ratio. So they studied 0.1% retinoic acid compared directly with 0.1% retinol, which doesn't even seem like that much retinol, but the findings are very interesting. One of the things what they did was looked at slices of skin to monitor the behavior of these two to see if they are actually similar. In the 0.1% retinol skin slides, they did see an upregulation of collagen 1 and 3, and also epidermal thickening, which is the same behavior as retinoic acid, you're not really losing out on the, that skin benefit. They also looked at a clinical study. In the 12-week time, both cells with the 0.1% retinoic acid and the 0.1% retinol improved the appearance of wrinkles. Even though the magnitude of improvement for retinol is smaller, it's not as small as you think. That magnitude of improvement is actually by more than 50%, and a lot of times we always think about retinol as like being 10 times less um, effective. If you're like me, where you struggle enough with a retinol, find a low dose retinol that you're comfortable with using, find the frequency that works for you. You don't always have to continue to level up until the moon. <laughs>